Hey Wastelanders, this is going to be a quick video. I hope you can hear me because I didn't hook up my mic. So, you remember me telling you that I dyed the knife, uh, the scales with the knife together because I couldn't get it apart. So, I finally got it apart and um, let me tell you, it was like a fucking nightmare. Let's Let's show you just one of the screws. Hopefully you can see that. There's all kinds of white Loctite on there. They they should have just damn... They should have just glued the knife together and had it instructions. Do not attempt to take this fucking knife apart. <laughs> so, finally I got it apart. There's, the screws aren't stripped at all. I'm glad I got it apart because if you... Uh, if it will focus, you can see the bearings. They took the dye, and I'll, I'll have to clean that off. Or I just want it to clean it for my. I don't think it ruins anything, but I'm still want it to be clear white. Some alcohol will probably clean that up. Anyway, see the back of the scales. You can see the tan part because. It didn't get underneath there. So I'm going to dye the scales again. Oh, let me show you. Taking the knife, prying the, the screw out, I didn't ruin the screw at all. And I didn't ruin the barrel, barrel spacer. I weakened this uh, screw hole and I the, they took some damage. I'm going to try to repair that with some uh, super glue after I get the, the scales dyed and everything. This probably this knife will be for me because I can't give it away knowing that I broke part of the scales. I think I can repair them. I'm going to try to send uh, the maker a message and hope maybe they can sell me one of the scales. But if they can't, I'll just repair that best I can. Yeah, it, I had a, a metal rod in there. And I was trying to do it at an angle because the barrel spacer kept spinning. And I had to just do it at an angle. And I did it at an angle on this side and it seemed to work. But I didn't, I, I think I applied too much pressure. And it broke it's it's not completely broken through it just like it just looks a mess it looks messy <laughs> so i think i can repair it if i can't i i think all the the screws this screw will hold it together and the other two screws will hold it together and the the pocket clip will hold it together too so anyway it's on the presentation side so kind of bummed me out so Anyway, the other scale looks perfect. Oh, I burned it a little bit trying to get it apart, but I think I can uh, sand that off and uh, dye it. And you can see where the pocket clip set and it didn't take the dye under the pocket clip. So, yeah, I burned it there too. This has been a nothing but a a mess <laughs> I, this is the worst kind of knife i have i mean it's a good knife it's just the worst kind of knife to take apart they just they just damn near glued it i'll have to clean out that pivot it's very dirty and cr cruddy but it didn't it didn't have any effect on the knife the, the action it was super drop shutty the pivot was kind of hard too and i ended up burning it i didn't notice that uh, it, i actually t touched it until it was just it was only on there a second that's how bad it was that's how quickly it, it burned micarta burns quickly so I'm going to bronze all the hardware 
and I'll try my hand at the scales again. I don't expect those the bronze, but I'll, I'll try it. And uh, yeah, I'll end up I'll end up dyeing these, and then I'm not going to bother with the uh, the blade. I'm I'm just going to leave it as is because I don't want to have any other problems. <laughs> so yeah, so. I was looking to give this one away, but now that uh, it's damaged, I really wouldn't feel right giving it away. So, all right, take care, Wastelanders. I'll give give it away if the the manufacturer sends me a replacement scale and I'm able to dye it. So, take care.